Hey guys, I'm Sergeant Ken Collier with the Sacramento Police Department, and I'm one of four team leaders on our UAS team. Our UAS is our unmanned aerial system. We have 30 pilots currently in operation. The Sacramento Police Department is on the leading edge of this emerging technology, and I'm excited to show you all about it. The Sacramento Police Department has recognized that there's a rising trend in the use of drones out in the commercial world and for recreation. We found a place for UAS, as we call them, for tactical deployments, searching for missing persons or rescue operations. We can even use them to help assist with fires. The use of this equipment has been beneficial to our organization and to our community. Safety of our community and our officers is of the utmost importance. Recently, our officers responded to a stolen vehicle alert from a police observation device. That vehicle was located by officers and the suspect was seen fleeing after crashing into a residential neighborhood. The suspect was seen running by officers in through the neighborhood and into a backyard. A perimeter was quickly set and a UAS pilot responded and got the UAS overhead. The UAS pilot was able to locate the suspect who was hiding along a fence line. The pilot recognized that there was an officer on the other side of the suspect. The UAS pilot was able to help safely maneuver the officer away from the suspect. The suspect was then given surrender commands by the contact team and was safely taken into custody. About a month later, patrol officers were pursuing a stolen vehicle and the driver fled on foot. As he was fleeing, he told officers that he was armed with a gun. A perimeter is set by officers on the ground and a UAS pilot responded and deployed overhead. The pilot was able to communicate to ground units that the suspect was located hiding in a backyard. At one point, the suspect began running through that backyard. The UAS pilot was able to help direct a contact team towards the suspect, give him directions, and secure a safe apprehension. So each of our officers that are certified pilots have the ability to store their equipment in their patrol vehicle at the ready for any deployment that is necessary while they're out on patrol. So this is our flight kit with our Mavic Pro 2 Enterprise. This equipment comes with a color camera, a FLIR camera, which is a forward-looking infrared. We have a speaker and a spotlight to assist officers in the field. And this is our basic patrol-ready kit for officers out in the field. But we also have a micro UAS system that is used for interior deployments of structures and homes. Hey, I'm Officer John Azevedo with the Sacramento Police Department UAS unit. Something that's unique to our department is, in addition to our outdoor UAS program, is our indoor UAS program. We have not only mini, but actually micro drones. Uh, drones that you can actually fit in the palm of your hand, they're that small. Uh, what's unique about that is the fact that we can now go where our other outdoor larger format drones can, uh, they can't go. So if we have a barricaded subject or some type of tactical incident, we can now get inside a vehicle. We can now fly inside a house through small openings, through a broken window, things like that. Areas in which the larger drones can't go. We can now have uh, first-hand real-time information on what we might be facing from the inside out. It gives us a an incredible advantage, a tactical advantage, to be able to address the situation more appropriately and not put officers in danger and suspects in danger and citizens in danger. The way our micro UAS program works is each drone is controlled by a long-range controlling system and they're coupled with a downlinking FPV or first-person view goggle that the pilot is able to wear. We're then able to take that feed and broadcast it securely to any of our operations uh, personnel via a cell phone, uh, tablet, or even computer system. Uh, each one has a, a very small footprint. This is more of the mini size. We have ones that are smaller. Uh, again, our motto here is if you can throw a softball through a window, we can get a, a UAS inside a house and r render it safe. It wasn't long ago where we didn't even use UAS in operations, but now with the technology advancements, it's really revolutionized the way that we approach a tactical situation. Uh, we can now boldly go where no man has gone before, so to speak. So it's making everything safer for everybody. Things safer for the officers responding to those incidents, the citizens, and as well as the suspects that we are coming in contact with. 